What's up, Baller Nation? Augie Johnston here with BallerBootCamp.com. And in today, no. <laughs> What's up, Baller Nation? Augie Johnston here with BallerBootCamp.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down the floater, okay? The floater is not one of my favorite shots. Maybe because me as a player, personally, I was never really able to master it fully, but it's not one of my favorite shots as a coach as well because I don't like the youth players using it too often because I, I feel like the floater is a low percentage shot. But we all know that certain players, they're really good at it and if they're shorter, shorter players, shorter guards, then this is a real weapon that they can work on and work on and work on. So anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the breakdown. Okay, so what is the floater? The floater is an in-between shot. It's a shot that you might wanna shoot when you're too close to shoot a pull-up jumper and you're kinda of too far out to shoot a layup. You'll shoot a floater over help side defense or defenders or shot blockers coming. If you're able to float that ball high enough and get it to kiss off the glass or whatever and drop, then you're able to score over a big defender by using this move, okay? So it's an in-between shot. And for a floater, the footwork is really important, okay? We're not gonna use like a left, right, one, two step, but we are gonna use what I call a stride stop, which is basically this, okay? It's gonna be right, left footwork. We're here, boom, right, left. And as you can see with my footwork, my left foot is actually in front of my right foot. Unlike a pull-up jumper where my right foot is in front, if you come in here and try to do a floater out of your shooting, regular shooting stance with the right foot in front, it's gonna be, feel more like a pull-up and you're not gonna be able to get a nice little touch. What you wanna do is what I just demonstrated, the stride stop, and come in here and go boom, right, left, and go up into your shot. You're gonna feel like you're more on balance. Also, little side note, is if I'm able to get a step on my defender, get him on my hip, right, hold him off here, then I can come in here, boom, boom, keep him behind me, shoot the ball here, and get my floater off with some protection and just by getting an inch on my defender and getting him on my hip. Okay, so that's another reason why this footwork is important. Now, for the actual shot, if you are at a good angle, you want to use the glass, okay? The glass is your friend when you're shooting floaters because it's soft. Um, you don't need to shoot like a follow through jumper. Sometimes you'll see players shoot it and they'll have a follow through, so there's no really right answer on this one, but a lot of times too, and what I prefer is no follow through. I'm basically gonna say high five to somebody and shoot it up like a little shot put almost. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Rip through, boom, right, left, up, soft, say high five and kiss it off the glass. Okay, so if you're attacking straight down the middle, you don't necessarily need to use the backboard. You can go for swishes, but it's the same thing. Okay, we're striding into it, boom, boom, going up into our shot. If you're having a player that's really struggling with the footwork, you can tell them to turn sideways. Now, when you shoot these floaters, you don't want to turn completely si sideways and get up into it, but I've kind of figured out that's a good way to teach it. You tell them, turn sideways in a shot, they'll come in here, do the same forward, boom, boom, turn, and get into their shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that full speed. You was wrong, I was right. Didn't take long just to make it for life. No, no, no. I think that I might just fall out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fall out. You was wrong, I was right. Didn't take long just to make it for life. No, no, no. I think that I might just fall out. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, click that like button. Also, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what the kind of videos you want to see. But most importantly, head over to ballerbootcamp.com. Head over there. I got a free workout for you that you can download, print out, and follow to improve your shooting, improve your ball handling. It's 100% free, so go ahead and click the link that's on the screen right now or first link in the description, and I'll see you guys inside that workout.